The community is coming together to raise money for a young boy. I'm your neighborhood reporter Ezekiel Tolomaco at Primetime Grill, where people are coming together for Bags for Brent. He did his we have a uh, cornhole tournament going on. There's just over 30 teams registered. They're grilling brats and burgers, and they got corn, and they have some um, they got some raffles going on and a 50-50 raffle to uh, raise money for a great cause. Brett Jedwani was injured during a power wash accident on July 9th. He was airlifted to the hospital where he was expected to die, according to his cousin Logan. But almost three months later, Brett is still alive and fighting to get better day by day. And we're going to be here for him, supporting him, praying for him, and fighting for him the whole way. In the meantime, Prime Bar and Grill in Menasha is doing what it can to bring the community together and fundraise. 100% of the proceeds for all of the raffle baskets, 50-50, um, pop tops, all of that kind of stuff. Um, we have 10 liners going on. We have silent auctions. 100% of all those proceeds go to them. Logan says the family can't believe how much support Brett has received from the community. The support to, you know, not just my family, but specifically my Uncle Ty and Aunt Nikki and my cousin Grant and Brett, their family. Uh, it's been overwhelming and it's been a blessing. As the community gathers here in Menasha, Brett's parents, Tyler and Nicole, remain beside him at the Wisconsin Children's Hospital, hoping for the best. In Menasha, Ezekiel Tilamaco, NBC 26.